on. Ebony got out. <laughs> I'm pushing her with my legs. Okay, enough. Leave it. Leave it. Now, can you move from ah, Java? Java. Ah, ah, Java. Java? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're in the wrong place. Come on. You're not coming out. Come on. Okay, I'll close this gate. You stay there. I'm closing this gate. No, 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 no. Stop it. Brindle. No, we're going to go that way. Jesus. Okay. Java. Java. Enough. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, now the other yo is probably out somewhere else. Go on. Oh, look, he's left all the gates open. Uh-oh, oh, God. All the gates are open. Somebody came in to do a job and just left gates all open. So I can hear the neighbor has started cutting the hedges. So I know I have to start feeding the birds. And that's just the times we're living in. People think a neat, tidy farm is what's needed. I can hear it macerating the hedges over that way. It's always a sad day. I hate when the hedges inside farms are cut every year. There's no need. You can do some of it some of the year, some years, and leave others. A rotation, a three-year rotation. And you can look after wildlife that way. Instead, I'm buying bird feed. Thanks to my Patreon account, I can buy bird feed to feed the birds that aren't going to get fed by the hedgerows that are being macerated in that direction. Hey, boys. Ah, uh, Java, leave it. There you go. You can hear the hedgerows being butchered in that direction over there. Hopefully the hedgerows you see Hopefully these won't get touched or those ones there. This is the neighbor's land. That's our hedgerow, but that's like a windbreak. That's north and those winds come howling down and that's a windbreak. It's unnecessary to cut them. It really is. Modern farming has a lot to answer for but it's also government policy that has a lot to answer for, for why we're in this eco collapse. Because people just don't understand, actually people don't want to understand how damaging that is. And it's bad for the economic economy of the land. Butchering, absolute butchering. Beautiful sunny day with the awful sound of the neighbor's hedge cutters going. I have to lift this ring feeder out over this fence 
and roll it over to that bale of hay for the horses. But the music this morning isn't bird song, it's hedge cutters, which means I've got to start feeding my birds again. Cats and dogs, all keeping me company. <laughs> and the sun has gone in under a cloud. We might have another deluge of rain. We had one earlier that was almost sleet. It was so flipping cold. Anyway, I've separated this out so it's easier to put over the fence. Yes, Pa and Kitty, how are you? You from Kitty, are you gonna help? Yeah, you're lovely and strong to lift this thing over the fence. I know you. Yeah, how are you? You beautiful kitty. Okay, now muster me strength. Now all I have to do is bring them up to that bale of hay. <laughs> now I have to unwrap. Hey kitty, you smelling all the birds and mice and rats and voles? I've got to unwrap this. All this lovely plastic. Okay, I better turn off the camera and get this done before the rain comes again. Ooh, there's a bitter wind. Isn't there? Look at the cats all fluffed up because it's so windy. Isn't that right? And cold. <laughs> you having a lovely time on top of the bale as I unwrap this plastic. Uh, there we go. 
See, there's the end, the last of it. And then I can put the ring feeder on it and release the horses. Oh, here comes the rain. The rain is coming. Yikes. You're gonna go jump in the hedgerow, cat. Okay, get this out of the way. I'll pick that up in a minute but I've got to, takes two hands to put this stuff up. And you're having a lovely time just right there, aren't you? Okay, better put this up now. And Mustard overseeing my putting the ring feeder on the bale. You good dog, cat, yeah. Dogs all ran off, chasing the scent of a fox or something. Anyway, the ring feeder is up and I'm collecting the plastic. Job done. Woo! Goodness me. They saw me putting up the bale of hay. <laughs> and look at what the crows have been doing. Destroying my moss that I've been putting up here. It's all falling down the sides. Oh well. I'm gonna go up and see the horses are galloping around in circles. Come on dogs. Oh, it's so slick. We just had a sleet of rain. So are the horses cavorting up here? They're let out so late because I was putting the bale out. Yep, there they are. Brindle, come on, leave it. Good girl. Having a lovely time cavorting. Oh, foof to you too. Miss Daisy Rose just goes straight to the hay. So there's enough of cavorting. I'm just gonna have some fresh food now. Ishka's about to roll. She's pawing the ground. So she's gonna get down and have a good old roll. Oh, maybe she's not. No more cavorting. Java, come here, come on. Pup, pup. Atta boy. Leave them big cavorting horses alone. They're too big for you. Anyway, I can feel more rain coming. It's spitting icicles. <laughs> <laughs> 